Here I am, I'm Dima Sherry. I'm the chairperson at Nagaloga Buddha Center. And we're located here in Portland, Maine at One Forest Avenue. And uh, Nagaloka is a center for people who would like to participate with know themselves through meditation and studying the Dhamma, which is the Buddhist teaching. So we're part of a larger, larger order, which is um, worldwide. It's called Tri Ratna Buddhist Community. And it actually is, a, is an order for Westerners. So it was created by an English gentleman named Sangharachita. And we've been around here in Portland for almost 20 years, so maybe a little bit more. So it's a really a wonderful community, uh, which is called the Sangha. The members that come here are people that just want to come and, and uh, meditate and practice the Dharma. So good morning and welcome to Sunday morning at Nagaloka. So what we're going to do this morning is we're going to do, um, like we normally do, we're going to chant the refuges and precepts. And I'll do that in call and respond. And I'll, before we start, I'll actually tell you the meaning of what we're saying because it's in a Pali language which was around at the time of the Buddha. And we're going to honor the Buddha and the Dhamma and Sangha by, by beginning and honoring them by standing up. Then we'll do the refuges and precepts, and then we'll do a period of the Metta Bhavana, which I'll lead you through, and then we'll end with transference and merit and self-surrender. So we'll, we'll honor the Buddha and the Dharma and Sangha, and we'll do all of this in call and respond. <laughs> Namo Bhutaya. Namo Bhutaya. Namo Dharmaya. Namo Namo Sanghaya Namo Sanghaya Namo Nama Namo Nama Om Om Ah Om So find your comfort. So um, this is pretty traditional in most Buddhist communities um, to chant the refuges and precepts. And I'm going to do it in call and respond, but first I would just want to tell you what, what I'm saying or what everybody is repeating after me. Um, because it's in, some of it is in Pali language and some of it is in English. So what we say in the beginning is namor tasa Bhagavato, Arahato, Samma, Sambhutasa. So what that means is homage to him, the blessed one, the worthy one, the perfectly enlightened one. So that's the Buddha. So we're just really being present here in the moment with awareness that uh, the Buddha gained enlightenment and he stuck around and taught us the Dhamma. And then the Sangha is the community. And then we say that we go to the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha for refuge, not once, not twice, but actually three times. So going for refuge to the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha actually means we reverence them. I mean, we have a great deal of respect for the Buddha and his teaching in the Sangha, the enlightened beings. So um, we just remind ourselves as Buddhists that that's part of our practice is to resonate with the Buddha and his teaching. And then we say five of the precepts, in Pali, and these are the things that we're trying not to do in our life. So they're just principles of practice that the Buddha gave us as opportunities to have some guidelines and to be more skillful in our life, to have things come from a place of goodwill, from our heart, from greed, hatred, and delusion is where sometimes we kind of operate from. <laughs> so we're not really bringing it down to our heart. So the Buddha really gave us some guidelines to bring things more into a way of being that we're coming from a place of goodwill and, and, and metta, which we're going to do, uh, the metta bhavana, which means loving kindness. So um, in, the, in the Pali language, what I'm going to say, and you're going to repeat after me, is I undertake to abstain from taking life. I undertake to abstain from taking the not given. I undertake to abstain from sexual misconduct. 
I undertake to abstain from false speech, and I undertake to abstain from taking intoxicants. So these are the five precepts. And then you'll hear the positive precepts, of which are in English. So these are the deeds of things that I can do to help to be more skillful in my life. So these, we'll do these in call and respond. Namo tassa. Namo tassa. Bhagavato arahato. Sama Sambutasa Sama Sambutasa Namo Tasa Namo Tasa Bhagavato Arahato Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambutasa Sama Sambutasa Namo Tasa Namo tasa. Bhagavato arahato. Bhagavato arahato. Sama sambutasa. Sama sambutasa. Budham sarananga chami. Budham sarananga chami. Dharmang sarananga chami. Dharmang Saranangha Chami Sanghang Saranangha Chami Sanghang Saranangha Chami Dutyampi Bhutam Saranangha Chami Dutyampi Bhutam Saranangha Chami Dutyampi Dharmang Saranangha Chami Dutyampi Dharmang Saranangachami Dutyampi Sanghang Saranangachami Dutyampi Sanghang Saranangachami Tatyampi Bhutam Saranangachami Tatyampi Bhutam Saranangachami Tatyampi Dharmang Saranangachami Tatyampi Dharmang Sarananga Chami Tatyampi Sanghang Sarananga Chami Tatyampi Sanghang Sarananga Chami Panati Pata Panati Pata Veremini Veremini Sikapadam Sikapadam Samadhyami Adinadana Adinadana Veremini Veremini Sikapadam Sikapadam Samadhyami Samadhyami Kamesu Kamesu Mechachara Mechachara Veremini Sikapadam Samadhyami Samadhyami Musavada Musavada Veremini Veremini Sikapadam Sikapadam Samadhyami Samadhyami Suram Maryam Suram Maryam Maja Maja Panatatana Veremini Sikapadam Samadhyami Sadhu 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 With deeds of loving kindness with deeds of loving kindness. I purify my body. I purify my body. With open handed generosity. With open handed generosity. I purify my body. I purify my body. With stillness, simplicity, and contentment. With stillness, simplicity, and contentment. I purify my body. 
I have purified my body. With truthful communication. With truthful communication. I purify my speech. I purify my speech. With mindfulness clear and radiant. With mindfulness clear and radiant. I purify my mind. I purify my mind. <clears throat> <clears throat> so let me just um, explain the metabhavana a little bit before we begin. So the metabhavana actually is translated as the development of universal loving kindness. So what actually it's translated as is just offering our goodwill to ourself and all beings. So it's, it's touching upon yourself in a way that you're connecting with your heartfelt response to the world and everybody's in it. So we do that. We do it on occasions, but doing the metabhavana just really helps us to do it a lot more often because what happens when we do the metabhavana is we connect with that emotion that we call friendliness so that we have an opportunity in our world, in our everyday life, just to be a little more friendly, not only to ourselves, but to our good friend, the people that we don't know, and the people that we struggle with. So how do we do that? How do we connect with that way of being in the world that we place our heart upon ourselves and all beings? It takes practice. So that's why we do this practice. We do this metabhavana meditation in order to connect more with that place of being. And what the Buddha referred to it as loving kindness, but it's also referred to as being more skillful. So versus unskillful. So when we're skillful, it comes from a place of goodwill, of loving kindness. <coughs> you actually can feel the emotion in your chest sometimes, that warmth feeling in your heart. When you're doing something out of generosity and kindness, so you actually can feel the emotion going on when you're actually doing that, even when you're not meditating in your world, in everyday life. What we tend to do is, uh, through our conditioning, I call it a veil of conditioning. I mean, we, we've been in this way of being since we were, were quite young, is um, sometimes we come from this place of our head, and not our heart. So what happens then? Come from greed, hatred, and delusion. So we're pretty deluded most of the time <laughs> in how we respond to ourself and all beings. So it's just an opportunity for us to grow and develop in a way that we come from more of a place of goodwill and kindness and skillfulness and, and generosity than instead of a place of maybe unskillful actions and feelings. I mean, how does it feel when you come from a place of hatred and anger? Especially when it's to somebody else. Do they feel it, the other person? No. We're the ones that really suffer, aren't we? Because it's our, our perception, our, our response to ourselves and all beings. If we come from a place of not being very skillful, in a place from our head, a place from the veil of our conditioning, we just react, don't we? Instead of responding skillfully in a way that we are a little more creative. So just think of this meditation as just being a way that you can be a little more creative in your life and respond with a place that you're coming from that has to do with kindness, skillfulness, and love. So just think of yourself as being more friendly, more kind, and more generous in your world. So I'm actually going to lead you through this meditation this morning. Sometimes, um, most of the time when you come here on Sunday morning, it's just a bell and we sit for 40 minutes. And this is a five-stage meditation, so it's eight minutes per stage. But I'm going to reduce it a little bit and I'm going to lead you through it. So there's actually five stages. So in the first stage, we give loving kindness to ourselves. So we just have a sense of us. You know, just connecting with, own, it's almost like you're connecting with an appreciation for yourself. Because who's going to love you as much as you love yourself? than you. There is nobody that's with you as much as you are with yourself. So we have to start with ourselves from that place that we have an appreciation and then we move on to our good friends. So think of these individuals now that you're going to be using. So a good friend is somebody that we refer to usually. Um, it's a, the same sex. It's around the same age, and especially that they're alive. Because you're going to put this in action when you're not on the cushion. Okay? So again, you're going to respond to them with a place that you're coming from your heart. So you're going to be their friend, and you're going to offer them goodwill. 
So the first stage is yourself. The second stage is your good friend. The third stage is somebody you don't know very well. So we've referred to this individual as your neutral person. These are the people that you run into most of the time in your daily life, is the people that you really don't know. You know, you go to the bank, you go to the grocery store, you work, you go to school. You know, you're out in your car in your traffic, walk around the city. These are the people you really don't know, but you see them every day. So we open ourselves to be more friendly to these people we don't know. And then in the fourth stage, we bring to mind somebody that we're struggling with, you know, that we have a little ill will against. And it doesn't mean necessarily they're the difficult person for themselves, but they are just for us. So they have people that love them and care for them. So we try in this meditation, especially realizing that we're meditating, they're not here really with us right now, only that we have a sense of them. So we can just like put on a new pair of glasses, you know, we can respond to them a little differently and come to, from a place of kindness. So you don't necessarily have to like them, but you can appreciate that they're in the world because they help you to practice. If everybody was really your good friend, we wouldn't have anybody to practice with, would we? So it's good to have some difficult people in our life because it helps us to be more friendly to them and everybody else. Yeah. Because when we react to them, who's, who's, who's holding the pain? We are. Yeah. So it's just an opportunity to offer a little more goodwill to people that we really don't care for. And then in the fifth and final stage, we open ourselves and expand our loving kindness so that we include all these people together. It's almost kind of comical, isn't it, if you put yourself with your good friend, a neutral person, a person you'll struggle with. So, I mean, you just do that, and you just see how you respond to that, and you just try to, to um, open up your heart a little more to, to the, the concept of just being more kind and appreciative to these people in your life. Yeah. And then uh, what I'll do is just expand it even further. So at the end, we include all beings. So all beings in the world, may they be free from suffering. May they grow and develop. May they be happy. You know, so just wishing goodwill for all beings. So, and then um, I'll lead you through all, this, um, all the five stages, and I'll ring a bell in between. And then at the end, when we're done, we'll do um, the transference of merit and self-surrender. And this is just an opportunity for us. We gain great merit just by being here today. So do we hang on to it? We do a little bit, but we give it away. So it's, it's, it's also the metabhavana in action. You know, everything that we take in as far as goodwill and kindness and compassion, we give it all away. So it is, it's another act of the metabhavana. So, and then we, it comes back again. So it's just this ongoing flow of loving kindness for ourselves and all beings. So any questions before we start? I'm going to lead you through just a little body scan in the beginning, <clears throat> just to help you relax a little more. Because you really want to find comfort in your body. So whether you're seated on the cushion, on the, on the mat, on the floor, or you're up in a chair or on a bench, just find your comfort in sitting there and being here in the moment with awareness. Because if, if we find comfort in our body, our mind is less distracted. Um, because if we got a knee ache or <clears throat> our back is sore, it's just going to distract our mind. So really, in the beginning, find your comfort. So just settle down, close your eyes. And just start focusing on your breath. So it's always good to begin with the mindfulness of breathing, just an, an awareness of your breath, just breathing in and breathing out. And just having a sense of just being here in the moment with your breath, especially in your body. So in Buddhism, our body and our mind are the same. So we have our senses that we respond to throughout our whole body. So that's part of our mind. So just be aware of your whole body. And just settling down, finding comfort being quite content and aware, being in the moment, just having a sense of your body being still and at peace, just breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, I know I'm breathing in. 
breathing out. I know I'm breathing out. And just have a sense that you have the earth underneath you so that you can just let your body weight go. So you don't have to hang on to anything here now. You can just let it all go. Your weight of the body. Post anything else that you might be hanging on to in your emotional response as you are right now here in the moment. You can just let go. Just settling down more with a sense of awareness, of comfort and ease. And just bringing all of your awareness to your hands. Just letting them rest and be at ease. Your hands have accomplished a lot of duties, even this morning before you arrived. So now you can just let them rest and be at ease. breathing in and breathing out. I'm just checking within, just going within, just to see how you're feeling. In Buddhism we say feelings are pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. So we feel something first before we go into the emotions. So just check with your feelings. And then you can check to see how you're emotionally doing this morning. And we try, try to build on that emotion, especially if it's a pleasant, loving, kindness feeling. We're going to build on that feeling. Maybe you feel it in your chest and around your heart, this warm sensation. And we're going to drop that seed of metta within. So that seed of loving kindness is inside of you now. period of the Metabhavna. In the first stage of the Metabhavna, we bring ourselves to mind. So having a sense of you being here right now, going within with that seed of Metta within. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be free from struggles. May I be free from the cause of struggle. May I grow and develop. May I have a healthy body. May I have a sound mind. So having a real appreciation for yourself and wishing yourself wellness and happiness, goodwill, being your own best friend, Just continue to stay in the moment with awareness, with a focus on a sense of you, appreciating the good qualities that you find, your kindness, your generosity. Your happiness, your joy your friendliness. I 
whenever you're distracted by thoughts, to simply bring it back, having a sense of you, either in the mind's eye or deep within inside of you. Opening the heart to loving kindness. Now, off in the distance, you see somebody walking towards you. And as they get closer, you realize, here's your good friend. They're with you now. And you can feel that sense of joy within as you spend time with your good friend. You appreciate their qualities of friendliness, kindness, generosity, especially their friendliness to you and your friendliness to them. You're wishing your good friend happiness by offering them loving kindness. May they be well. May they be happy. May they be free from suffering. And may they be free from the cause of suffering. You are offering your friend goodwill and happiness. May they have a healthy body. May they have a sound mind. May they grow and develop, letting them grow and develop in ways that is right for them, to supporting your good friend coming from a place of goodwill. May they be well, may they be happy, may they be free from struggles, may they grow and develop. And take notice how you're feeling, your emotional response dropping that seed of loving kindness with you and your good friend. It's time now to say goodbye to your good friend. You can say goodbye in whatever way you feel appropriate to say goodbye. They're turning and walking away now. And off in the distance, somebody else is coming. And you notice as they get closer, this is the neutral person, the person that you don't really know very well. And as they get closer, you realize that seed of meadow is within you. You're coming from a place of goodwill. So you have an appreciation and friendliness to this person. Wishing them well, wishing them happiness. May they be well. May they be happy. 
May they be free from struggling and the source of those struggles. May they grow and develop, having a healthy body and a sound mind. So connecting with those qualities of metta, goodwill, friendliness, It's time now to say goodbye to the neutral person in whatever way you feel appropriate to say goodbye. They're turning and walking away now. And as you see them walk away, you notice somebody else is coming from a distance. And they're getting closer, you see that it's the person you've been having some struggles with. So they're with you now. You have a sense of them being present in your awareness. It's almost like you seeing them in a different way, that you recognize their humanness, that they too are seeking happiness so that we can wish them well as we drop that seed of metta within ourselves. We respond with kindness. May they be well. May they be happy. May they be free from suffering and the cause of suffering. May they grow and develop with a healthy heart and a sound mind. And it's always a good idea with the person we're struggling with to let go of past situations. Just be in the moment with awareness. May they be well. 
May they be happy. May they be free from suffering. And may they grow and develop. Now you can say goodbye to the person you're struggling with. And as you do that, you notice, here comes your good friend, and you're new to a person, and your difficult person is here as well. So you're all together, here in the moment with awareness. As you look out to each of them together, you open your heart and offer them metta, loving kindness. And just notice how that feels as you give loving kindness to your good friend, the neutral person, and the person you're struggling with as they're standing before you together. We're going to grow and develop, expand our feeling of goodwill as we offer it to more individuals. So include all the beings in this room, in your circle of metta. May they be well. May they be happy. May they be free from suffering, and may they grow and develop. You're surrounded by beings in back of you, in front of you, to your side. Growing and developing our loving kindness we begin to include more beings. So just as they come to mind, let them in. May they be well, may they be happy. May they be free from suffering. Your friends, your neighbors, your family, gradually include more beings. 
just expanding your loving kindness so that you can include all beings. May all beings be well and happy. So women and men, children, the old and the young, the rich and the poor, the healthy, the sick, those living near and those living far away, may all beings be at ease. Remembering to stay connected with that heart, felt response, being creative in your meditation as you offer goodwill to all beings. Letting your imagination bring you to a place of loving kindness. taking a moment to reflect. As you begin to bring the meditation to a close, again, check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What is your emotional response? What has this meditation been like for you? Just being with it for a moment longer. Transference of merit and self-surrender. May the merit gained in my acting thus go to the alleviation of the suffering of all beings. My personality throughout my existences. My personality throughout my existences. My possessions. My and my merit in all three ways. And my merit in all three ways. I give up without regard to myself. 
I give up without regard to myself. For the benefit of all beings. For the benefit of all beings. Just as the earth and other elements. Just as the earth and other elements. Are serviceable in many ways. Are serviceable in many ways. To the infinite number of beings. Inhabiting limitless space. So may I become that which maintains all beings. Situated throughout space. So long as all have not attained. So long as all have not attained. To peace.